Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to a new producer inside. And today we're gonna talk about my latest release, Wake the Fuck Up. My second EP tune. So yeah, let's just dive straight into it. For the ones that haven't heard it already, um, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, let's just dive into how I did certain things uh, and what the structure was behind the at uh, the tune. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the vocal, which is on my older computer, so we're just gonna do it without the vocal. Um, but yeah, it's just some vocal mixing. Um, I started out with this yeah fast funk beat again. So where the cowbell is really important. It's not actually a cowbell, but it's like a it's a funk synth. The vibe is really dark, so I made this a really heavily distorted kick drum snare. Actually, a snare layered with a kick. And then together, I put a bit of wave shaper on it. So, because if you just distort a normal kick drum like this, you can get this really crunchy sound, but not really that crisp uh, harshness to it. I really wanted that. Yeah, without it, get it. I wanted that crisp high end of the snare um, in it. We hear a lot of funk tracks. Um, yeah, so I basically just laid out a mix of percussion, nothing too fancy, but it's just like yeah, funk standards. Uh, together with a B sub bass. <laughs> now, yeah, I layered that. So I basically this Reese bass and the drums are all for that low end. Get the low end moving. And then for the mid highs, um, I use the funkish melody. And to add some more depth to it, I added these elements. Just to create some depth, otherwise it will sound super flat since there is no reverb on any of these sounds. So normally in Artstyle we have a lot of reverb of course, but yeah, this is quite dry actually, so um... It's really subtle, um, the depth. And then for the build-up, yeah, I was kind of lazy, I didn't really want to do a build-up, because I was like, yeah, it's already done so much, and we want to go to the drop faster and faster. So let's just go with it and implement the drop right after. So I had this kick. Fortunately, I'm also missing that cyberpunk Johnny Silverhand vocals, but it just fitted the vibe. With, like end with a kick, and just go into that vocal. The drop sound already played. And here, build up fast with a snare. And then straight dropping it. So I think that really worked out well. Yeah, for the drop, it's just a jaded kick. 
special. But for these ones, I kind of did the same thing as in How I Can I Forget. With the original sample sounds like this. Which is again exactly the same street sound as in How Can I Forget, but then just on right pitch and with a different pattern. I thought it really added to the dark vibe whole tune, so uh, that's kind of why I did it. Here again, some little computer sounding basses, which actually really complements the. I think these can really make a track unique. Types of sounds for drop. Example, that's in the drop. I think that's really creating the sound that I have right now. So, uh, yeah, and then for the second kick, of course, it's a steel pipe kick. Close to kick. Um, just to kind of get that same sound going the whole, throughout the whole EP. Um, second break is actually quite similar, but here I did a bit different. I didn't really want to have leads in this project since, yeah, it was already done. Too basic. What sort of melody would I even put in there? I just didn't know, so that's why I added this little upbeat funk standard break. And then here I did actually uh, transition to a actual build-up. Again using the same elements. And then we go straight into the kick. I think it fitted well, especially with the screech. Uh, since the screech is super thin, um, I wanted the kick to fill up most of the spectrum and that's probably why it worked so well with the zaag. Since this is already sounding super cool, which is just to add a ton of more drive and make it a bit more, yeah, depth, more storytelling, I guess. It fits really nice on top instead of yeah fighting for a space in the mix since it is so thin. So just complementing the kick that's. So then I used the combination of, again, a gated kick, then with these sounds. But just to like round it up. Um, and stuff. But yeah, actually, if you look at the whole project, it's yeah, really not big at all. Now, but it's not big at all. However, the creative process was kind of a challenge to... Yeah, build a different sound, don't use any leads, um, look at build-ups differently, maybe even skip the build-up. Um, all those sorts of creative decisions make this track, in my opinion, pretty special or pretty fun to, to listen to. Instead of, oh yeah, there's the melody and there's your break with your pads and vocal. Overall, I think this uh, that's why this track bit more unique, a bit more fun to listen to. And it was also a challenge for me to create something different. Yeah, really happy with how it turned out. That's basically it. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next